Here's a quick run through of the composer.json cheat sheet. Essentially, it's composed of two parts. Firstly, the composer.var command line switches, and secondly, the composer.json file. Let's have a quick look at both. This section lists all of the command line switches, which you can pass to composer.var from the command line. What's more, by mousing over them, on the right hand side you'll see a fuller description of what each one does. Let's have a look at a few, so you can see what I mean. Here we have install, which sets up the dependencies in the vendor directory, as well as creating the composer lock file. Then there's self-update, which updates the composer.var file to the latest version. And finally, there's dump autoload, which updates the autoloader because new packages are available in the class map package. Composer.json lists all of the options right from the most common, such as name, description, authors and require, through to the more advanced, such as repositories, archive and scripts. As with composer.far, by mousing over them, you'll see the specifics on the right hand side, as well as some example uses. Let's have a look at a few. Here's where you can add keywords to aid in your package being discovered on services such as Packagist. Here's where you can find a list of support options for when you need assistance or perhaps want to contribute. And here's where you can set specific autoloading configuration options. On the whole, it's a great tool for getting the most out of Composer, even though it's only one page long.